Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told that 2n over 5 is equal to 10, and we're asked to use this equation to find the value of 2n minus 1. So the first thing we can notice is that if we get rid of this fraction, then we'll just have 2 on, it, on its own, right? If we get rid of this denominator, rather. So we can multiply this by 5, and then these will cancel. Of course, you have to do it to both sides to keep things equal. That gives you 2n is equal to 10 times 5 is equal to 50. Now, from here, there's two ways to go about this. There's the traditional way, right? If we just have 2n is equal to 50, divide both sides by 2, these cancel, and you get n is equal to 50 over 2, which is 25. And then when we're looking for the value of 2n minus 1, we have our value of n now, so it's 2 times 25 minus 1. 2 times 25 is 50 minus 1, which is 49. You can do this. This is the perfectly reasonable way that you will solve most of these sorts of problems. But sometimes you can notice a slight shortcut, right? Where if we have 2n is equal to 50, notice if we subtract 1 from both sides, here we'll have 2n minus 1, which is the thing we're trying to find the value of. And we get that it's equal to, so this is going to be our answer, 50 minus 1 is 49. So either way, you're going to get 49, and your answer is going to be B, but one way is a little bit quicker than the other. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.